Now, every good video gamer needs to know how to use the controls. So let's get on to our sorting tool and begin to explore how to use those tools. Check this out. So first, you're going to be practicing on the volume, number two. Now, you're going to click and drag to match where they need to go. So again, first off, I can see that this has the volume low. I can see the picture here is also low. This would be low volume going here with quiet sound. And therefore, this would be the sound wave that matches. Moving the top up, I have my loud sound, high volume, and I have the waveform that would match it. So this is our practice. The next activity you will be doing yourself and taking a screenshot. So for the activity that you will take a screenshot of to show me your answer and your understanding of the lesson today, you're clicking on the number three. Now, we have low pitch and high pitch. You're gonna have a musical instrument here. That's the double bass. You're going to have the musical instrument here, that is the flute. And you're gonna be putting those where you need to put them. Now, if you're watching this video, you are in luck because the double bass has a low pitch and the flute has a high pitch. So in watching this video, you already know where these two pieces go. The key is, do you remember which one means low and which one means high on the bottom? If not, I talk about it in length at the second video of our lesson where I show you and I have pictures and I use my hands as a visual example of a low pitch and a high pitch. So go back and watch that if you're not for sure. Once you've put these in the right spot, you are going to take a screenshot and turn it in. Well, boys and girls, I had a blast learning with you today. Hopefully you had fun as well and learned a lot of really cool stuff about how sound is connected and a big part of video games. As always, have fun learning and I might see you next time.